In light of dwindling orders, Boeing has decided to stop production of its F-A-18 Super Hornet by 2027. The chief of aeronautical development agency has said that the agency has already given hardware clearance for production of the UTAM radar, so that production can go concurrently, till few tests are pending, and it will be ready for integration from 41st stages Mark 1A aircraft onwards. Under a contract signed for 72 units, Kalyani Strategic Systems is all set to deliver another batch of 14 MOG howitzers to Armenia. The Indian Army has received the first batch of 24 Rigla S-Man portable air defense systems along with 100 missiles from Russia, as part of a larger deal which will see the rest being made in India by an Indian company through transfer of technology. Central Industrial Security Force aims to procure 550 units of 9x19mm SMGs, that must be concealable and come equipped with reflex sights. Slovenia has denied all allegations, saying that it had not made any 155mm ammunition purchases from Munitions India Limited, and has not forwarded them to Ukraine. Maldivian Foreign Minister has praised India's decision to renew the quota for essential commodities. Microsoft has said that China might deploy artificial intelligence technology to meddle in Indian elections. Indian Navy's project Seabird is set to be inaugurated tomorrow, showcasing remarkable advancements in infrastructure development. Hindustan Aeronautics showcased its Stages aircraft at the ongoing Vietnam Defense Expo in Hanoi. Japan's Ministry of Defense and India's DRDO have successfully concluded a joint research project to develop a cutting-edge navigation system for autonomous military unmanned ground vehicles and robotics. In a significant development, the DRDO has completed developmental trials of 160 km Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile, and the DRDO and Indian Air Force are gearing up to start in-flight trials of the 350 km range Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile later this year, that will bring India closer to deploying a next-generation air-to-air missile, solidifying its position as a major force in aerospace technology. Despite the recent first flight of the Tejas Mark 1A equipped with the Israeli B-Net software-defined radio, Hindustan Aeronautics remains committed to develop its software-defined radio 1 for the Tejas Mark 2 fighter program, which has officially entered the testing phase, and has the potential for expansion, to accommodate additional waveforms and support new frequency bands in the future. The DRDO is seeking industry collaboration to develop a remotely operated 360-degree swiveling launcher for its very short-range air defense system, that will feature two missile tubes, with the capability to fire missiles at one-second intervals, that will be able to neutralize low-altitude aerial threats. The Indian Army has expressed interest in integrating very short-range air defense system not only in its man-portable configuration, but also mounted on light military vehicles. Indian firm DG Propulsion Private Limited has scored a patent for a hybrid system, comprising an integrated microgas turbine and fuel cell. Microgas turbines will utilize fuel combustion to generate electricity, while fuel cells will create electricity through a chemical reaction, that will help achieve exceptional efficiency in power generation, and will remove carbon dioxide from exhaust gases, minimizing its environmental impact. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>